Hello again, um, I'm back with a, another ROM video. Um, this ROM review is the, uh, the ROM called Venere ROM, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and this is for the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Um, I am running it on one of my uh, GT-N5110s. Uh, I have two of them. Uh, one I run uh, strictly um, a you know Samsung uh, stock-ish type ROMs. Uh, the other one I do most all my testing on with uh, uh, Sinajamod, KitKat, um, Lollipop, uh, you know, like AOSP type and uh, uh, ROMs like that. Um, the biggest reason I really wanted to show this ROM was basically to show that you can flash it. Uh, there has been some serious issues trying to get this ROM to flash um, and stick without massive reboots. Um, and I just want to show everybody that you can do it uh, with no problems and still run uh, Google Apps. Um, but there's a way you have to do it, at least for me and for my two, uh, my two Galaxy uh, or my Samsung uh, Note 8, my tablets. Um, I tried it on both of them several different ways, and this was the only way I could get it uh, to, uh, to flash uh, and without having constant reboots. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to go to About Phone or About Tablet, and the ROM is Venere, and uh, the build date for this one is uh, the latest, uh, which was Friday, October the 2nd. Um, uh, yeah, October 2nd, yeah. Wow, that's, I keep thinking it, uh, it's later than it is, but it's not. Um, and, uh, the kernel I'm running is, uh, Buffalo kernel, or Bofla kernel, and I know I'm killing the hell out of this one. Um, the name of that, I could never pronounce it properly anyways, and, uh, it is, uh, ported to the tablet by Zanzam. Um, awesome developer. Uh, I love his work, uh, and I do like to run his kernel um, as much as I can. Uh, I haven't even set the kernel up yet, um, and we will go through that uh, setup process. There's, I'm gonna. This ROM does have a lot of custom features, but it's not as in depth as say Bliss Pop or or some of those ROMs. But to be honest with you. Uh, the selection of ROMs for the uh, Note 8 is dwindling. Um, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, I, I, well, I know what it is. is we, uh, we have a lack of development uh, or people, uh, developers that are even interested in developing for this tablet. So the few that we do have, we need to donate to them. Um, this, is, this is what inspires them to build more for us. All right, I'm going to get off my soapbox, and we'll get into the ROM, developer options. Uh, there's your advanced reboot. Uh, and then your root access, of course. Uh, I always go apps and ADB. Um, there are all, your, all of your uh, bug report shortcuts, your mock locations, uh, stuff like that. Um Pretty standard affair for lollipop ROMs. And we'll go back. Um, everything else, as far as I can tell as I was going through this, is pretty basic. Uh, nothing really stood out um, other than uh, the section where they actually have their custom uh, mods at. Uh, is is pretty much the same as most other lollipop ROMs. Uh, Signage mod comes to mind, um, and I am going to be doing a uh, ROM uh, preview of that probably later tonight. Uh, but I wanted to get this out there because I know there has been a lot of people that have tried to flash this and just have have had all kinds of problems. And I just wanted to show you guys that it can be done, uh, and without a lot of hassle. To be honest with you. Uh, we'll get into sounds. Um, 
I will show you the notifications that comes with the ROM. Uh, they are not as many, you know, again, as like uh, Bliss Pop would have, but, uh, but they have enough on there. And of course, it, this being a tablet, uh, the notifications are going to be uh, the ones that we use. Unless you're using a, uh, uh, you know, a second party app like uh, Google Voice or something like that, you're not going to be making phone calls with your tablet. Although I do. Uh, this is not what I make my calls with. I use my uh, Nexus 6 or uh, one of my other phones. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. I want to get rid of this vibrate on touch so I'm not uh, screwing the video up. I should have done that earlier. Um, but as you know, I do not edit my videos, so I'm not going to go back and redo this. Uh, under display and lights... Uh, it comes with the uh, adaptive brightness already set, just as all Lollipop ROMs do. Uh, I usually untick that and uh, set my brightness up. I have it up all the way. I think I have it up all the way uh, for the video. No, I don't. Let's take it up the whole way. Uh, there are your other settings. You can change your LCD density. Uh, that is in there. And I do not want the search bar in my recents menu. Um, that leads us to interface and themes. Let's go over the interface. Because I have this set up right now. This is the stock uh, theme that comes on you know, this ROM right here. The, the way you see it now is going to be how it flashes. Uh, how, or excuse me, how it's going to look after you flash it. Uh, buttons. These are your settings for all your hard buttons. Uh, Samsung devices have hard buttons, so we do have settings for them. Uh, backlight, I always, it comes like that. I always uncheck it, hit OK. That gets rid of the light on your back button and your menu button and helps to decrease uh, the uh, wear and tear or pull or drain on your battery. Um, if it's at night time and you really need them, uh, you can go back in there and enable it again if you want. But I always disable mine. Uh, the power menu, uh, this is the selection that you get with the power menu. I would love to see some more options in there, but uh, thank God at least we have a reboot option and recovery reboot. Uh, home button, uh, this is nice. Uh, you can set your... Um, your home button with a long press mine is set right now for the uh, recents if I press and hold it I get my recents um, and if I double tap it uh, it's going to turn the screen off which I'm not going to uh, then you can do you can set up everything else to your back button your menu button no not your back button but your menu button uh, status bar I'd like to see some more customization with this uh, here's your clock settings. You have uh, your center and your AM, PM style, and that's it. There's no color. There's no uh, date style or anything like that. Uh, it, would be, it would be nice to see that. Uh, it comes with the super user uh, indicator uh, ticked on. So if you know it's calling for super user, um, it would show a little icon up in your status bar. Uh, I don't like that, uh, so I take it off. It's just my preference. Uh, battery status style, these are what you get. And your battery's percentage. And of course you can have brightness control by sliding your finger if you want and uh, the show notification count. Uh, under lock screen, these are your lock screen settings. Not a lot, um, but there are some. Uh, let's see, notification drawer, there's your quick pull down, I have mine set for the right edge, um, because I do not have this in a stand anymore, um, I gave this, to, I have my other, uh, note 8 in the, uh, in my carrying case and stand, so this is my freehand tablet, so I use my right hand and I use the right edge pull down. Uh, show weather, and here are your tiles you can select from, this is what I have chosen. 
and this is what is left over to choose from. So again, uh, there's not a big selection there. Enough, um, definitely enough to get what we what you need to get done. Um, but uh, I'd like to see some more options like a screen record, uh, something like that. Uh, then you have your enlarged first row, row, and then your uh, your hide sensitive uh, sensitive tiles. Um, you know, show brightness slider, blah blah blah, and so on and so forth. Uh, the notification manager. Here's where your heads up notifications at. Uh, I have mine off. You can have it on if you want. Uh, it was working. I definitely was getting heads up notifications. Uh, this ROM does not have floating windows or anything like that, which is a shame because it's a tablet it would uh, it would be nice to have that uh, again the, uh, the the development for this tablet um, is it's not good um, it'd be nice to uh, to get a couple more people involved uh, in developing for this um, we lost Pac-Man it doesn't seem like uh, Pac-Man's going anywhere uh, Bliss Pop's done um, you know, it's Venere uh, and uh, Cyanogen Mod. If you want anything, any customization, then you're going to want to go with Venere. Uh, Cyanogen Mods, you know, it is what it is. And it's a good ROM. It's good, solid ROM. Uh, clock and weather. These are your clock and weather settings, which is pretty standard. Um, I am not going to set a theme. I will show you uh, how it looks in tablet mode. Uh, these are the themes I have loaded. Uh, I tried to set a theme earlier, and when I did, I got a system UI crash uh, to the point where the only way I could recover from it was to do a factory reset. Um, that was with neat CM12 theme. Uh, another theme might not. Uh, but in order for me to finish this video, I'm, I'm not going to. Now, I will... Uh, try a theme out. Um, I really like to throw this one on. Um, I'll try it out, and if I have no issues, I will post underneath um, when I uh, when I put the video up. Um, I said I was going to go over kernel settings, uh, and I am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, uh, and I, I haven't installed it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and install my Bofola app. So I need to go to downloads because I just downloaded it. Let me find it here. There we go. And install. Open. Allow. Oh yeah, this does not come super user um, installed. It, it it has super user, uh, but it's its own. You know, it's like Cyanogen mods super user. Uh, but if you do want uh, Super Sue from uh, Chainfire, uh, just flash it. When you flash the ROM, flash it. Now, the reason I didn't was because I wanted you guys to see how the ROM was as it comes and that it'll run as it does. Um, I flashed Buffalo Kernel because I, it seems I have more luck with it booting properly with this kernel. I did get it to boot with its own kernel, um, but I had issues once I got about 10 to 15 apps from the Play Store on. Now that could have been just me or this tablet. Um, but, uh, you know, it. you guys can try it any way you want. Uh, to set this up, um, you're going to get s slide over and go to... I'm not used to seeing it in white. Uh, this is the uh, voltage uh, or your frequencies. I'm going to long press and get rid of that. Uh, I usually run 1800 uh, megahertz and 300 megahertz. Come on, give me 300. There we go. That's what I normally run. Um, under governors, I got to remember where it's at. Uh, here we go. Let me get rid of that. Oh, there they are. Here's the governors. Um, I want to run ZZ Move as governor. I think it's the best. And I want to run a uh, the performance. Uh, that should give me the... At least I found when I run this, um, 
that this is this is the best way it runs for me. Um, I've gotten the best N22 scores from it. Uh, I, I very rarely get any lag at all. Uh, but I want you guys to see that. Uh, you do have the Bafoa uh, sound control. So I'm going to go ahead and set the volumes up. Speaker up. Uh, here's the equalizer, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to set this with, uh, let me see here, Eargasm. Uh, I'll set that up because I do have a mic that I attach to this sometimes. And that's it for sound control. Uh, touch boost, no, I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, here's your charge rate. Yes, I do over, I, I take this up so I get a quicker charge. I usually take that up to about 1800. No, let's go 725. 1725. I don't touch the USB charge. Uh, it's. I just found that it's, to me, at least works better when I leave that alone. Uh, but when you do set the AC charge up higher, uh, as far as milliamps go, it does charge quicker. And that's about all that I mess with on here. Uh, it does have a screen setting that you can uh, change for uh, double tap to wake if you want. And I got it to work right here. I got it to work once or twice before. Um, but I really don't mess with it anymore. So, But you can. Uh, you know, Or you can just run the stock kernel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is Venera ROM. Um... Uh, Lollipop 5.1.1 and uh, it is the latest build uh, October 2nd and uh, it is running on my uh, Galaxy, my Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 GTN 51 GTN 5110 um, it, ha it, it did run on both of my tablets no issues at all um, now the way I got it to load was I loaded the ROM first no G apps just a ROM and before a kernel. Booted. Set it up. Once it was set up, uh, you know, where I went into my settings and set everything where I wanted it. I went to the internet, uh, downloaded uh, the base core apps, uh, Google Core apps, or um, B, t t uh, the uh, TKG apps is the ones that I used. The Pico version, that's the ones that I flashed. Um, after I downloaded those, um, I booted into recovery. I flashed my G apps, booted back into the ROM, and uh, set up my uh, Google uh, account. And from there, uh, I went right into it. Just started downloading apps. And as you can see, um, I got my battery bar. Um, uh, I'm running Nova Launcher, which I got from the Play Store. Actually, then I uninstalled it and installed Nova Launcher 3.3 .3 because... I don't like the newer version of Nova Launcher, but that's just my preference. I do want to show you guys a new set of icons I found too. So we're going to go into Nova Settings. Uh, we're going to go into the Look and Feel icon theme, and it's called Vivid. Go back, back. Now look at those icons. They're awesome. It's uh, it's like a chrome look with uh, with just it's really cool. I like them. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, again, I know that there has been a couple people out there that uh, have left remarks that they think I'm I'm a snoozer. Uh, somebody, please change the uh, video reviewer. -y. Um, don't watch my videos then. That's all I got to say. Um, but for those of you that, that have watched them and left uh, kind remarks and actually subscribed to me, which I can't believe you did, but thank you. Uh, I just want to thank you for that. And um, I will see you on the next one.